Alright, hey, what's poppin' guys? My name's Nathan, otherwise known as Ruffle, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your $50 microphone sound like a $300 studio mic. Stay tuned, and enjoy. So, first things first, you guys wanna go down below in the description and find the two links which will bring you over to these pages, right over here. So, pretty much voice meter is an application that makes your voice sound a lot smoother, I'd say, and a lot bassier, and it kind of just matches the tone of your voice, and it just sounds really good in my opinion. So right now I am using Blue Snowball, and I will give you guys a preview in just a sec of what it sounds like without, but yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install this, and give you guys my presets, and make your guys' voice sound good for yourself and it works in YouTube videos and commentaries and anything you use your mic for it works in discord Skype in uh, game chat and all that stuff which is really really cool so like I said I'll teach you guys how to do this so you guys want to go to the first link down below which will bring you over to this page right here uh, you guys want to click on digital audio technology which will download a virtual audio device uh, you just want to click that over here you guys just want to go and scroll down to where you find the download button you guys want to go ahead and click here to download it you guys want to save it to wherever is most convenient for you guys for me it's gonna be my desktop I'm gonna let it install and you guys want to have Renoir or 7-zip for this I will have the um, link to Renoir down below if you guys want to know how to install that uh, you guys can just watch another video on it it's really simple and now the next thing you guys want to do is download voice meter so you guys like like I said once again you guys just want to click the voice meter you want to click download on the zip package just makes it more if you guys really want to make it a little bit more convenient you guys could just uh install the exe file but you guys just want to let this install it shouldn't take too long depending on your internet but uh we're just gonna let this install we're gonna find the file which is this file right here this is the audio device and this is voice meter itself you guys just want to right click on oh uh, you guys just want to hover over one of them i guess yeah that works I just want to click extract two and then you want to click extract two as well just like that and now you have these two files right over here you guys can delete these files if you guys would like to uh, you don't really need them anymore so now we have these two files right here what you guys want to do is you guys want to open up the V cable um, the V cable driver pack right here and what you guys want to do is if you guys have a 32-bit computer you guys can do that by going into here typing in your settings and now once you're in settings, you guys want to go to your system. You guys want to go to, where is it? Um, you guys want to go to your about. And then bringing you guys, it will show you guys this. You guys just want to see the system type where it says right over here. I have a 64-bit operating system, but if you guys already know yours, then you should be good. But like I said, if you have a 32-bit computer, you want to click on this, right click, run as administrator. But if you have a 64-bit computer, you guys just want to go here, right click on this. You want to run as administrator. You want to click yes to the pop box that will uh, come up for you. And then right here, it's going to bring up a tab just like this. So for me, it's not going to, for you guys, actually, it's going to say install driver over here, but I already have the driver, so it says remove driver. Anyways, what you guys want to do, you guys want to click in on the install driver button right over here. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a little uh, wizard for you to uh, install. You just want to click yes on everything, apply everything. Uh, if you guys want to, you guys can read them carefully and see what you're accepting. But pretty much this just gives you another uh, virtual cable, like you're pretty much making your mic an XLR and yeah but after you guys have this you guys just want to go restart your computer and welcome back guys you guys probably restarted your computer and now what you guys want to do is we do not need this anymore so if you guys want to you guys could delete this I'd recommend keeping me at first to make sure that it runs smoothly and now what we guys want to do is open up the voice meter setup over here just want to click that you guys want to click on the voice meter setup and then you guys just want to go through the wizard once again. And when you guys are done, uh, you guys, like I said, you guys don't have to delete it, but you'll get something that looks kind of like this. So pretty much this is voice meter. So like I said, you guys want to go through the wizard, accept everything. And you guys just want to type in here. You guys want to type in voice meter. Oh, whoops, my bad. Voice meter, just like that. And then you guys will have... Uh, this thing right here is going to be VB audio. You guys just want to open that up and then this thing will pop up right over here. So now what you guys want to do that you're in here, you guys are probably going to end up with um, just a blank thing. You guys will have some red things here. It's going to say no input easily enough. You guys just want to go down below in the description and you guys want to find my text file that I use and you guys just want to click here. You guys want to click load setting. 
I'm gonna go find my text file right over here you want to open it up and then it will open everything to my settings my personal settings at least and you guys want to make sure that stereo repeat is checked for both of these and you want to make sure this is at zero and all of these things over here are checked so if you guys are a girl you guys have to listen closely i do not want you sounding like a boy so you guys kind of have to tweak around with the settings a little bit if i go over here as you guys could clearly see it makes my voice sound a little bit different um maybe even a lot you could kind of move your voice around um around the whole entire scale and you guys can just find what's more comfortable for you and for your mic so my mic sits perfectly at about right over here just brings in the bass and it just makes everything sound a lot more nice smooth and clear so that is that and if i want to i will open up audacity to uh show you guys what it sounds like with and without using the voice meter input um as your thing and if, if these are flashing over here here i might as well go over these you guys want to make sure that this here is on the vb audio point right here you want to make sure this is on uh, either your Razer surround sound or your uh, just pretty much your surround sound thing but that's what I use as my sound system so um, that's why it's Razer sound audio controller but for you it's probably gonna be something else but anything that says like uh, you know your uh, microphone or like your speaker uh, setup and then here you just want to select your mic uh, this is probably not going to select automatically so you guys just want to select your MME your blue snowball microphone I think this should work on the blue snowball I and I think it works with other type of um, headphones with mics and other just auxiliary mics and studio mics and just mics you could uh, buy online but I'm just doing this as a blue snowball because I know this works the best for this so now we're gonna go and record something hey my name is Nathan and this is the Microsoft blue snowball I don't know why I said Microsoft but uh, I actually do not know why I said Microsoft at all <laughs> Okay, forget that. Anyway, so this is what it sounds like without the uh, virtual cable and without voice meter. Hey, my name is Nathan, and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I don't know why I said- Alright, so now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this, and I'm going to switch this over to the Blue Snowball uh, VB over here. And then, hey, my name is Nathan, and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I do not know why- Try to make it the same like before. I'm gonna play this. Hey, my name is Nathan, and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I do not know. Okay, so you guys kind of see that just like that. So now I'm gonna go play this, and you guys are gonna see how this one sounds now. Hey, hey my, my name, name is Nathan. Is Nathan and this hey, oh, my, my name, name is Nathan, Nathan and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I don't know why I said. I'm gonna play that one more time. Hey, my name is Nathan, and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I don't know why I said- Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead, unmute this, mute this, and we're gonna play this track right over here. Hey, my name is Nathan, and this is the Microsoft Blue Snowball. I do not know- Alright, so now that you guys could see the difference, I think it's really worth your time because it only takes about 5 minutes to install and if you guys follow the instructions correctly, you guys should get yourself a beautiful sounding microphone and if you guys do have any questions, please, please, please be free to ask me down below in the comment section and if you guys are staying to the end of this video, be sure you comment down, I was here and that would just show me that you guys were here for the whole video and I really will appreciate it. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed today today's video on the voice meter application if you guys have drop a like down below i really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on the channel can we try to get 20 likes on this video i think that'll be a reasonable amount to go for and like i said i really did hope this helped you guys and uh yeah i'll see you guys later three two one and i'm out